The story of Elvis and Priscilla Presley is one filled with love, fame, and heartbreak. But lurking beneath the surface is a lesser known controversy that has intrigued fans and historians alike. As we delve into the final years of Elvis's life, we uncover a shocking twist. Priscilla's alleged attempt to claim Graceland before Elvis's untimely death. In April 1977, just months before Elvis passed away, Priscilla filed a lien on Graceland, sparking rumors and raising questions about her true intentions. Was it a desperate move fueled by financial strain? Or was there a deeper, more personal motive behind this bold action? This revelation challenges the narrative Priscilla has maintained for years, painting a complex picture of love, betrayal, and the relentless pursuit of what she believes she was owed. Join us as we unravel this controversial chapter in the Presley saga, shedding light on the dramatic events that unfolded in the shadow of Graceland. 7. Background Elvis and Priscilla Presley's marriage, once a fairy tale, ended in divorce in 1973. Their settlement seemed amicable on the surface, with Priscilla receiving a substantial sum, including cash, spousal support, and a share of the couple's properties. However, behind the scenes, Priscilla's financial troubles began to mount. She quickly spent her settlement on a series of ill-fated business ventures, which drained her finances and left her struggling to maintain her lifestyle. Desperate to recoup her losses, Priscilla turned to the courts, filing a lawsuit against Elvis in a bid to secure more money. This lawsuit marked the beginning of a contentious legal battle that would have profound implications for both of their lives. Priscilla's actions placed immense pressure on Elvis, who was already grappling with his own financial and personal difficulties. The strain of these legal challenges set the stage for an escalating conflict, with Priscilla determined to claim what she believed was rightfully hers, even at the cost of her former husband's well-being. Six, main issue. In April 1977, Priscilla Presley took a bold and controversial step by placing a lien on Graceland, Elvis Presley's beloved home. This legal move, aimed at securing $494.49 she claimed was owed to her, sent shockwaves through Elvis's world. The lien added a heavy burden to Elvis's already precarious financial situation, forcing him to increase his grueling tour schedule to meet the mounting demands. Emotionally, it was a devastating blow. Elvis, who had always viewed Graceland as a sanctuary, now saw it threatened by someone he once loved deeply. This act starkly contradicted Priscilla's public portrayal of their relationship. She often spoke of their enduring bond and mutual respect. Yet this aggressive legal maneuver painted a different picture. It suggested a willingness to push Elvis to the brink, prioritizing financial gain over the emotional and physical well-being of her former husband. The revelation of the lean challenged the narrative Priscilla had carefully crafted, exposing a rift that many fans and observers found difficult to reconcile. 5. Consequences The lean placed by Priscilla in April 1977 trapped Elvis Presley in a relentless cycle of touring to stave off financial ruin. Elvis, already burdened with enormous expenses, had to continuously perform to keep up with the growing monetary demands. This grueling schedule left little room for rest or recovery, exacerbating his declining health. The toll on his physical well-being was evident as he battled numerous medical ailments and relied heavily on prescription drugs to manage pain and stress. The strain was not just physical, but also deeply emotional, affecting everyone in his inner circle. Band members, friends, and family watched helplessly as Elvis pushed himself to the brink all while grappling with the intense pressure to meet financial obligations. Priscilla's actions, which included not only the lien, but also her earlier lawsuits, were perceived by Elvis as a profound betrayal. He had always been generous, sharing his wealth freely with those he loved. Yet here was the woman he once cherished, seemingly turning against him in his time of need. This perceived treachery added a layer of emotional distress compounding his sense of isolation and despair. Elvis's fans, too, were left reeling, struggling to reconcile the public persona of a loving ex-wife with the reality of her aggressive legal tactics. The narrative of love and respect Priscilla had maintained was shattered, revealing a harsher, more contentious dynamic that played a significant role in the tragic final chapters of Elvis's life. 4. Financial Strain Elvis Presley, despite his immense fame and success, 
faced staggering financial burdens in his later years. His monthly expenses were astronomical, with Graceland alone costing a fortune to maintain. The iconic mansion required constant upkeep, staffing, and security, amounting to half a million dollars each month. Additionally, the costs associated with touring were immense. Every concert tour involves significant expenditures for travel, accommodations, and the salaries of a large entourage, including musicians, backup singers, and road crew. The price of gas for tour buses, rental of venues, and other logistical expenses further drained his finances. This relentless financial pressure forced Elvis into a punishing tour schedule. He had to keep performing, even when his health was deteriorating, to generate enough income to cover these exorbitant costs. The strain of maintaining Graceland, with its extensive staff and operational demands, alongside the need to fulfill his other financial obligations, left Elvis with little choice but to push his body and mind to the limit. The constant cycle of earning and spending created a suffocating atmosphere of stress and anxiety, diminishing his ability to enjoy his wealth and legacy. The financial strain not only impacted his physical health, but also eroded his emotional well-being, casting a shadow over his once glittering career and turning his final years into a relentless struggle to stay afloat. Three, Priscilla's motivations. Priscilla Presley's decision to place a lien on Graceland in April 1977 was driven by a complex web of motivations. Financial gain was undoubtedly a significant factor. After their divorce, Priscilla quickly exhausted the settlement money on various failed business ventures, leaving her in a precarious financial situation. Desperate to secure her financial future, she saw the lien as a means to reclaim what she believed was rightfully hers. However, underlying personal grievances also played a crucial role. Their tumultuous relationship, marked by infidelity and emotional turmoil, left Priscilla feeling wronged and perhaps vengeful. The lien was not just about money. It was a statement of power and retribution, a way to exert control over a man who had once dominated her life. The impact of this action on Elvis's public image and personal life was profound. Fans who revered him as a generous and loving figure were shocked by the legal battle, which painted a picture of a strained and contentious relationship. The narrative of Elvis as a beloved cultural icon clashed with the reality of his financial struggles and personal despair. Publicly, Elvis's image took a hit as the legal disputes highlighted his vulnerabilities and the chaotic aspects of his private life. Personally, the betrayal felt by Elvis was deep and wounding. The man who had given so much of himself to those around him now faced what he perceived as a calculated and cold move by someone he once loved deeply. This sense of betrayal only intensified his feelings of isolation and mistrust, compounding the emotional and physical toll exacted by his relentless touring schedule and declining health. Priscilla's actions not only strained their personal relationship, but also contributed to the unraveling of Elvis's carefully curated public persona, leaving an indelible mark on his legacy. To Elvis's final days. In Elvis Presley's final days, his deteriorating health became increasingly evident. Years of relentless touring, combined with a grueling schedule, had taken a severe toll on his physical well-being. He suffered from a myriad of health issues, including heart problems, high blood pressure, liver damage, and glaucoma. These ailments were exacerbated by his reliance on prescription medications to manage pain and anxiety, creating a vicious cycle that further weakened his body. Despite his declining condition, the financial pressures forced Elvis to continue performing. Each show demanded immense physical and emotional energy, leaving him utterly exhausted and drained. The emotional toll on Elvis was equally devastating. The constant need to be on the road meant he had little time to rest or recuperate, pushing him to his limits. The relentless pressure to meet financial obligations and the strain of maintaining his public image added to his stress. He felt the weight of responsibility not only for his own well-being, but also for the livelihoods of those who depended on him, including his band members and staff. This sense of obligation drove him to perform, even when his health was failing. In his final days, Elvis grappled with a profound sense of isolation and despair. The perceived betrayals by those close to him, including Priscilla's legal actions, compounded his emotional anguish. 
He struggled with feelings of betrayal, mistrust, and loneliness, which overshadowed the adoration he received from his fans. The physical pain and emotional strain created a harrowing experience for Elvis, who continued to give everything he had to his performances despite the toll it took on him. His last months were marked by a tragic decline, as the once vibrant entertainer fought valiantly to keep going, ultimately succumbing to the overwhelming pressures that had come to define his life. One, public records and revelation. The discovery of the lien placed by Priscilla Presley on Graceland came to light through diligent investigation of public records. These documents, which are accessible to the public, revealed the unexpected and controversial legal move made by Priscilla in April 1977. The revelation of this lien buried within the bureaucratic archives was a bombshell to many who believed in the narrative of an amicable post-divorce relationship between Elvis and Priscilla. It exposed a stark contrast to the image Priscilla had publicly maintained and raised questions about her true intentions during Elvis's final years. The potential impact of this revelation on Elvis's family and legacy was significant. For his daughter, Lisa Marie Presley, learning about her mother's aggressive legal action could have been a source of immense emotional conflict. It painted a picture of familial discord and financial desperation that contrasted sharply with the public's perception of a loving and supportive family. Additionally, the knowledge of such a contentious legal battle so close to Elvis's death could have tainted the cherished memories of Graceland, turning it from a symbol of Elvis's legacy to a battleground for financial control. Elvis's legacy, carefully cultivated through his music and his larger-than-life persona, also faced the threat of being overshadowed by these revelations. Fans who idolized him for his generosity and dedication were confronted with a more complex and troubled narrative. The story of the lean suggested a vulnerability and a personal life fraught with betrayal and financial strain, challenging the idealized image of the king of rock and roll. This disclosure could have shifted public perception, highlighting the darker aspects of his personal struggles and the intense pressures he faced, ultimately adding a layer of tragedy to his enduring legacy. As we conclude this deep dive into the complex and controversial final chapter of Elvis Presley's life, we invite you, the viewers, to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. The story of Elvis and Priscilla, with its blend of love, betrayal, and financial turmoil, offers much to reflect upon. Was Priscilla's move to place a lien on Graceland a necessary step for her financial security? Or was it an act of betrayal that hastened Elvis's decline? How do you reconcile the public personas with the private realities revealed through these events? Your insights and perspectives are invaluable as we continue to explore and understand the multifaceted life of one of music's greatest legends. Perhaps you have additional information, personal anecdotes, or different interpretations of the events discussed. Whatever your viewpoint, we encourage you to join the conversation and contribute to a richer, more nuanced understanding of this iconic figure in his legacy. Let's honor Elvis by engaging in thoughtful dialogue, keeping his memory alive through our shared passion and curiosity. So what are your thoughts on this? Sound off in the comments section down below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for celebrity news and updates every day.